I invite His Excellency the President to speak to us. Makofi Tafadali. Your Excellency, President William Ruto. Your Excellency, First Lady Mama Rachel Ruto. All protocols as already established, I write on them. No arms of government or agencies and the representations of foreign and friendly countries present. Your Excellency, sir, words fail me to explain how grateful I am today. I'll say that I am grateful to Almighty God who orders the steps and the affairs of every human being on earth. I am grateful to you, sir, for the honor you have given me to serve under you. Your Excellency, I've been your political student for nearly 20 years now, and nothing in the political space has helped me to pick up lessons more than the years that I have worked and served around you in various capacities. Therefore, Your Excellency, I'm grateful for the honor which you have given me. I promise you, before this congregation and before God, that I will not let you down for the privilege you have given me. The Excellency, sir, in the same breath of gratitude, I am grateful to all the institutions who have facilitated this process, including the ceremony we are having today. And I want to uh, agree with what my elder brother, His Excellency Musale Mudavadi, has said. Whatever has happened in the last few weeks, and indeed in the recent past, is a testament of the maturity of our democracy, and is a testament that our institutions work. Your Excellency, sir, allow me, having thanked you, also to thank the very many people whom I have had an opportunity to learn from them. I may not be enumerate all of them, but I've had the privilege of learning from so many great people. And even as we celebrate our constitution and our democracy, I pay tribute to those who purposed to fight for and defend the establishment of our country and our constitutional order. I am grateful to those who are responsible for creating the Kenya that we live in today, in the past and in the present. I am grateful to those who fought for this constitution, and I am grateful to all heroes of our country in the past and in the present. Your Excellency, I'm grateful to this country for raising me. And I've had so many people to help me grow into who I am today. And therefore, as I discharge the burden that you have placed me, Your Excellency, the burden you have placed on my shoulders, I am grateful that I will discharge that burden 
with the benefit of having grown and continuing to grow under the feet of not just my father and mother who gave birth to me, but the many elders of their generation who helped me to shape and make me what I am today over time. I am truly grateful. Those who taught me in the formal and the informal setup. Your Excellency, I'm grateful to my family. With your permission, I want to pay tribute to four people who have made huge sacrifices, especially in the 14 years, 15 years or so I have been in politics. Before then, I had spent a decade in academia, and of course, I'm also grateful to the professors and the colleagues with whom we worked with. But allow me, Your Excellency, today, on a moment like this one, to thank my wonderful wife, Joyce Kidure, a woman who has sacrificed a professional in her own right, and who has sacrificed to raise our three children, Imani, Neema, and Mwende. Many, many, many days and nights of my absence as I serve the country in different roles. I am very grateful to my wife and the children for being the foundation and providing the support that I have always required as I navigate this difficult space of public service. Having finished with gratitude, Your Excellency, I'll say two things before I invite you. The first is to affirm that throughout my journey, culminating with this moment, I have come to believe that Kenya is the country of possibility. Your Excellency, for a person such as I to stand here today and take oath of the office of the Deputy President, it can only happen in Kenya. Your Excellency, I was born 52 years ago in one of the remotest parts of Kenya. But because Kenya is the land and the homeland of possibilities, Today, I, perhaps the most unlikely person, is standing here today because Kenya has made it possible for anybody to become anything in this country. I don't take it for granted. And therefore, Your Excellency, as you lead us into the transformation of our country, in the years ahead, I want to commit to support and assist you, together with the other colleagues in government, to realize a Kenya that has even greater opportunities, a more inclusive Kenya, a more democratic Kenya, and a more transformed Kenya. Your Excellency, I'm grateful because of the opportunity that Kenya provides for anyone to aspire to be anything. And therefore, there is no reason going forward why any person 
from anywhere, from whatever community, creed, religion, should not aspire to become anything in our country because I, have, I am a testament that Kenya is the homeland of possibilities. Finally, Your Excellency, I have reflected on the words of the oath of office I have taken, both the oath of allegiance and also the oath for due execution of the functions of the office of the Deputy President. And in that regard, I want to commit to you as I end my remarks, I want to commit to you before this congregation and before the Almighty God who is acknowledged in the Constitution that I will serve under you and provide you with the assistance and support you require to take this country to the next level. I commit, I will be loyal and faithful. I will try the best of my ability to work hard together with the other colleagues to lighten the burden that you carry on your shoulders, Your Excellency. And therefore, I think for me today is, if I may say so, a day when I have received the highest honor yet of my life, and I don't take that for granted. I want to pray that uh, God will give me wisdom to do what I must, and to the colleagues whom we have worked with and will continue to work with, I want to provide, I want to say that I'll provide continuity so that we can be able to all work together and deliver for this country. I forgot, Your Excellency, to thank when you gave me the task the last two years of serving in the Ministry of Interior. There are wonderful people whom I have worked with. Ngao, the police, the prisons, immigration, and all the departments and agencies in the Ministry of Interior. The little successes that we could have achieved, I attribute those successes to my colleagues. If there have been a few challenges, I take responsibility for those challenges. Your Excellency, with those many remarks, thank you very much for giving this privilege. And I now want to request that we be upstanding as we invite His Excellency President William Ruto to come and address us. Moja, Billy, Tatu, Ingine. Your Excellency Abraham Kidure Kindiki, Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya. Excellencies, Mr. Speaker of the National Assembly, Mr. Speaker of the Senate, our sister, your ladyship, the Chief Justice of the Republic of Kenya, members of the judiciary, members of the executive, members of the legislature, Fellow Kenyans, Hamjambo, Hamjambo Tena, Bwana Yesu Asifiwe, Assalamu Alaikum, Ebu Munisalimia Hivyo Ewani Nione Ndugu wa Kenya. I am proud to witness the swearing in 
of the Honorable Abraham Professor Kidure Kindiki as the third Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya under the 2010 Constitution. I know him as a dedicated professional whose commitment to excellence has helped us overcome daunting challenges and as a tireless public servant on the path of national leadership. Abraham is also a patriot whose dedication to cohesion, national unity, and inclusivity is beyond reproach. An effective champion of peace and stability. And across every part of our country, and a loyal steward of our bottom-up economic transformation agenda, whom together with many others, we crafted to take our country to the next level. Over the past two decades, I have had the privilege to witness Professor Kendiki's work as a professor, litigation lawyer, consulting attorney, sen senator representing the Rakanidi, majority leader of the Senate, deputy speaker of the Senate, the most recently as cabinet secretary. I can confirm that in all these roles, he has demonstrated exceptional dedication, high competence and professionalism, and consistently delivered results beyond expectations. Professor Kendiki is a highly qualified and outstanding scholar, advocate and public servant, whose career has been defined by exemplary achievements which demonstrate his vision for positive change and commitment to high standards of efficiency in the performance of his duties. At this stage of the implementation cycle of our national transformation agenda, the people of Kenya require a patriotic